Hello everybody, welcome back. When the 600i was announced for the very first time, was met with enthusiasm not only for its greater looks, but its promised capabilities, its promised gameplay as well. After the recent Q&A though, that enthusiasm has disappeared, then not many backers still believe that the 600i has a place in the verse. What was made apparent to me after that Q&A even more than before was the fact that the main competitors of the 600i in the verse are going to be the constellations and to be more precise the Aquila and the Phoenix. So today I would like to take a closer look, a better look at these three vessels and try to understand what is the role of the 609 in the verse and if it can be a nice alternative to these two constellations. The 609 is a multi-role luxury vessel from Origin built with a cutting-edge modular technology and the goal is for the owner to be able to swap modules whenever he wants later in the future so he can follow the career he wants the most at that certain time. Right now that is not possible and because of this the 609 is offering two variants, a touring and an exploration one. We could say that the heart of the 609 is the module that you will choose to place in its interior and the module that will give you the possibility, the ability to follow one or the other activity, to follow the activity of exploration or the activity of passenger transport, although after the latest Q&A that may not be the case. No matter which one of these two modules you will choose to place in your 609, the base model is built with bold and elegant lines and this focuses on slick looks and luxury in the interior but the exterior as well. Its wraparound single piece canopy also offers great visibility and situational awareness making it perfect for both roles and helping you achieve your goals no matter if that is exploration or just admiring the beautiful vistas of Star Citizen. The Constellation Aquila on the other hand is the exploration variant of the Constellation series and it is built in such a way and comes with a plethora of tools in order to help you achieve your goals while following the activity, the profession of exploration in the verse. According to the Q&A, the 600i is a fully capable exploration vessel but we have absolutely no idea what that means in terms of range and fuel efficiency, while we know that the Aquila comes with an expanded fuel tank, auxiliary fuel cells that will help you stay out there for longer and perform this activity for more. Both vessels seem to be very well equipped for the role of exploration and the Aquila comes with a navigational E7 long range scanner, but also jump point navigation sensors from wheel shops that will help you locate even the hardest to find jump points. The exploration module on the 600i will give you an additional radar scanning station and will offer you a suite of mapping systems and scanning gear for your exploration needs. With the exploration module on the 600i you also get additional external utility points for extra arrays, something that will make your exploration job a lot easier. We cannot really say that the 600i has better exploration gear than the Aquila or the Aquila has better exploration gear than the 600i because we simply have no idea how exploration is going to work and how each and every one of these tools are going to work either. They both seem more than capable to perform exploration if you want to go out there and follow this career and to be totally honest from the description of the tools, I think the 600i here has an advantage simply because it is offering a suite of mapping systems and the only other vessel in Star Citizen right now that is offering a mapping table is the Karak. In terms of utility, the 600i can also carry a rover from Origin and in the future will have the ability to carry not only that rover but the X1, an open canopy vessel vehicle from Origin as well. The Aquila on the other hand can carry right now the Ursa rover and a Merlin snap fighter giving you more options to explore but also assist your main vessel. The biggest argument around the 600i has to do with the cargo capacity and its speed and maneuverability. So let's go ahead and start with the cargo capacity. The exploration module on the 600i is also giving you 36 units of cargo capacity. 
The catch here is that you get these 36 units only if you don't have the rover with you. If you have the rover in the cargo hold, in the module, then your cargo capacity will be much lower. We have no idea how much lower it will be, but it will not be 36 units for sure. The Aquila is reported to have 134 units of cargo capacity, which make it the better option, which make it the better vessel to choose if you want to go out there and collect her loot, collect samples. But there is a catch here as well. As we have seen in the recent Gamescom presentation, the Ursa rover takes pretty much all the space in the cargo hold. So if you want to have the Ursa rover with you, the cargo capacity of the Aquila will be around zero. Maybe not exactly zero, but it will be less than 10 units. So if you want to go out there and you have to have a rover with you, the best option for you if you still want to have some cargo capacity is the 609. Now if you choose to replace the rover with another vehicle with an X1 in the future or a Nox or Dragonfly right now, then it is apparent that the Aquila is going to offer you more cargo capacity. We don't know the exact number yet, but it will be better than the 609. Another aspect of the Aquila that will make it a very good option if you don't wish to just perform exploration but want to mix your activities a bit is the fact that it comes with a science station on top that can be swapped with an actual turret for more firepower. It also has a climate control sable storage unit that will allow you to perform science field work. Because of this, we could say that the Aquila is a more multi-role vessel than the 600 is, since it can perform more than just the exploration activity at the same time. From the stats we have right now, it is obvious that the Aquila is a much lighter vessel than the 609 and will have much better maneuverability, something that has also been confirmed with the Q&A. The 600i on the other hand can achieve better speeds in a straight line, can go faster in a straight line than the Aquila and this is probably thanks to the Glux plating technology it is using. So what does that mean? If you have fought with the constellation Andromeda and if the constellation Andromeda is an indication of how the Aquila will be fighting the persistent universe when it will come in the game then you will know that the maneuverability of the Constellation series means absolutely nothing. And if you are under attack from a swarm of fighters, not a swarm, two or three fighters, you're pretty much dead. In this case, I would prefer the better speed of the 600i that will give me the option to get out of the area as fast as possible and quantum jump out of there and into safety. This is of course my personal opinion and some others might prefer the extra maneuverability that the Aquila is going to offer them. In terms of firepower, these two vessels are quite similar. The 600i comes with three size 5 hard points that can have size 5 fixed weapons or size 4 and below gimbal weapons, two size 2 turrets and 16 size 3 missiles. The missile weapon is quite potent on the 600i. The Aquila on the other hand comes with 4 size 4 weapons, 2 size 4 turrets, one actual turret and the other is the science station that can be swapped with an actual turret increasing the firepower and again if the stats are to be trusted 2 size 2 missile racks that can carry up to 20 size 2 missiles. So we can see that these two vessels have a very similar firepower and if we compare them one to each other in a fight one to each other then yes the maneuverability of the Aquila will help you win against the 600i but this is not the role of these two vessels. They were not built in order to fight each other. They were built in order to perform exploration and survive in the verse. Survive from a pack of pirates, from a pack of fighter vessels that will attack you and try to disable you or destroy you. And I think that the placement of the turrets on the 600i is slightly better than that of the Aquila, but also like more the fact that the 600i has better speed in a straight line that will hopefully help you get out of the area faster.
Another aspect we should also take into consideration is the fact that the 600i is a very easy vessel to take out there alone, to solo pilot and perform exploration. The real disappointment regarding the 600i comes from the touring module and the fact that CAG has announced that it will not be suitable for VIP passenger transport. What the touring module actually offers to the 600i is just a lounge area to entertain your guests and a great view from the rear window that will help you enjoy the beautiful wonders and vistas of star citizen while you're traveling. If we compare the touring module to the Constellation Phoenix, it is in every possible way inferior. And this is because the Phoenix is the touring variant, the luxury touring variant of the Constellation series that is offering everything required to transport VIP guests, passengers and make money out of this activity. The Phoenix is giving emphasis on luxury like the 600i touring module but it also comes with a dining area, guest cabins, hot tub, kitchen and a bar. At the same time, the Phoenix can carry a Lynx rover and a P-72 Archimedes snap fighter, increasing the utility it can offer, but it can also be used as a command ship, as a flagship for an organization, something that we cannot say for the 600i Touring. The Phoenix also includes a hidden sensor dummy area for precious cargo that you can use in order to store the viable items of your guests or for smuggling purposes. Regarding the weapons and the speed and maneuverability of the Phoenix, they are quite similar to the Aquila with some slight differences on the missiles, but we could say that the arguments we had on the 600i exploration versus Aquila are pretty much the same with the 600i Touring and Phoenix. Yes, the Phoenix has better maneuverability, but the 600i seems to be faster in a straight line and that will get you faster to safety. So to reach a conclusion based on the info we have, the latest info we got from the Q&A and the stats of these vessels, if you are after the passenger transport activity and this is what interests you the most, you should ignore the 600i Touring variant and go for the Constellation Phoenix, it will offer you more options and it will help you make a lot more money out of this activity. But if you are looking for an exploration vessel at the size of the 600i or the Aquila, then both are great options and I dare say that the 600i can perform certain aspects of exploration slightly better than the Aquila. The Aquila will just offer you some more options in terms of multi-role identity, you will be able to perform some science and you will be able to have more cargo capacity if you don't bring a rover with you. Other than that, they both seem to be very capable exploration vessels. So what do you think of the Touring and the exploration module of the 609 and which one would you prefer? A Constellation variant or one of the 600i variants if you were going out there in the verse to explore or admire the beauties of Star Citizen. I would love to hear your opinion. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.